Hello, welcome back to Zebra Force. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a productivity technique that is pretty much guaranteed to revolutionize your workflow, the Pomodoro technique. It's super simple and it's backed by science. And I wanted to share this technique because it's something that I've used on and off both religiously and casually throughout various eras and aspects of my life. And I think it can definitely apply to music production. If you're anything like me, a two to four hour session can lead to diminishing returns in your work and sometimes even some neck pain, back pain, if you're sitting at a desk like I do. Sometimes we'll be cooking up the best beat of our lives, but our posture is like, and that's just not good for your body. We are about to explore how this super simple time management method can supercharge that two to four hour session. And if you watch to the end, I have a super special treat for all of you Ableton Live users. First things first, what exactly is the Pomodoro technique? I'm glad you asked. It was developed by Francesco Cirillo in the 1980s. It's a time management method that he developed using a kitchen tomato timer that breaks work into 25 minute intervals with short breaks afterward. The idea is to work with laser focus during each 25 minute interval and then give yourself some sort of a break to recharge. Now let's apply this to music production because that's what you're here for. Imagine you're about to start a new track and you're staring at an empty project file. You have lots of ideas in your head and you want to get them all down, but before you know it, hours have passed and you haven't really done anything. Sound familiar? That's where utilizing this Pomodoro technique can really come in handy to not only improve your focus, but to improve your workflow management. That's where utilizing the Pomodoro technique can really come in handy for a music producer, not only to improve your productivity and your efficiency in those 25 minutes, but also to improve the organization of your workflow when you have to wear so many hats in one four hour session. For example, in a two hour session, you might need to write lyrics, find a melody for those lyrics, come up with some sort of a drum pattern, and maybe do a little bit of mixing as well. How do we know how much time to dedicate to all four of those things? It's very easy to just slip into a flow state and all of a sudden you've spent an entire two hours just writing lyrics. Boom, Pomodoro technique, problem solved. 25 minutes of lyric writing, five minute break. 25 minutes of finding a melody to put to those lyrics, five minute break. 25 minutes of crafting some sort of beat, you know, getting the rhythmic flow together, five minute break. And then you probably have a good four bar loop to mix. So spend 25 minutes doing that, take another break. Obviously, sometimes you might wanna dedicate a little bit more time to one of those tasks over another. This is just an extremely basic example of how you could use the Pomodoro technique to organize your workflow. I think having a tool like this in your arsenal is super valuable when you come across a day where you have the time to create, but you just don't have the motivation and you need to convince yourself to get started. It's a great way to keep things moving when you need them to, but your mind or body just isn't following along. Step one, set a timer, 25 minutes, and in that 25 minutes, laser focus on one aspect of your production process. Eliminate distractions, silence your cell phone, do whatever you need to do to make that 25 minutes beautifully productive. The Pomodoro Technique encourages deep flow state level work. And finding that flow state is crucial for making progress if you're only giving yourself those 25 minutes. Every time I do this, I'm amazed at just how much time sending just like two or three text messages can take away from my 25 minute workload. The goal is a flow state, so eliminate distractions. Step two, after that 25 minutes is up, take five minutes to relax and recharge, whatever that means to you. I prefer to do some exercises during those five minutes, maybe some push-ups, some jumping jacks, whatever, just get the blood flowing. I particularly like to do some neck stretches, you know, we're cooped up in this weird position while we're focused on a computer, so it's nice to just loosen up the joints, loosen up your body. I'm also a big fan of uh, doing some of these hip psoas stretches. I'll put a diagram on the screen. Those are really great to reverse the effects of sitting down at a computer for long periods of time. Some people in the trendy health and wellness world call this exercise snacking, 
And it's actually proven to be really great for your mental and physical health to just take small little pieces of your day and throw in a few exercises. Next step, rinse and repeat. After your session is over, start another timer, get back to work. Honestly, you'll be amazed at just how much you can accomplish in 25 minutes of pure focus. Traditionally, it's recommended to take 15 to 30 minute breaks after every four Pomodoro sessions. I don't know if there's any science behind this. I'm pretty sure that's just a general rule of thumb so that you can avoid burnout. But if there is a science behind that and I just don't know about it, let me know in the comments. I would love to read about it. And there you have it, the Pomodoro technique as related to music production. By harnessing the power of focused work and strategic breaks, you can really level up your stage in creativity and efficiency of your workflow. But as promised, this is not the end of the video. I have one special comment for all of you Ableton Live users. This is not something that I created on my own, but it is something that I use pretty regularly when I'm not working on a YouTube video and I'm just in the studio alone. It's a simple Max for Live device that you can just put on an audio track and it's a Pomodoro timer. So you don't have to use your phone and potentially be distracted by uh, social media or notifications, that sort of thing. And it's totally free so you don't have to buy a kitchen timer and there's nothing cheaper than free. So I wanted to share that with you guys. It's a Max for Live device, link in the description. Download it and uh, use it. Let me know what you think. Remember, the key to progressing in music is not only in musical ability, it's also very reliant on discipline and time management. So give the Pomodoro Technique a try. Let me know how you're utilizing it in your own workflow down in the comments. If this video helped you, please defenestrate that like button and click subscribe to help me grow this community of passionate music producers. Until then, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.